Hey guys, Gavin here. I've got a real quick ab workout that you can do. Only four minutes and you do two rounds. So two minutes or two rounds, four minutes. Are you ready? First exercise we've got is a high plank. So very simple, on the hands. I'm gonna start the timer, come and join me. Here we go. So I've got myself a mat, get myself in a good position here. So legs stiff, arms stiff, hands under the shoulders. I'm pulling my belly button in and trying to squeeze my butt cheeks for all they're worth. Now the key thing when you're doing these sorts of exercises, these planking exercises, because there are gonna be a few different planks in here, is to get your breathing right, okay? So control that breathing in through the nose, breathe it out through the mouth, steady, and then you will get through this a lot faster. I'm gonna drop into a low plank from there, and same thing, I'm gonna squeeze my butt cheeks, pull my belly button up, and try and control the breathing. Now, if you struggle with any of these exercises, these planking exercises in particular, then the easiest thing you can do, rather than doing them on your knees, is get yourself higher up. So onto a, uh, a table, a sofa, couch, whatever you want to call it. So that's going to make things a little bit easier for you. All right, from here, we're going to go with knee up. So controlling the breathing. And notice how I'm kind of rocking forward here. So just into it. It's going to engage the core a little bit more. Make this exercise a little bit more tasty. Seven seconds to go. Four, three, two, and one. And we're going to move into our rolling side plank. I'm just going to pause it for a second. Let's give you a quick rundown. So feet are on the sides. Hand up in the air. I'm going to roll, tuck. And notice how I roll my feet. So on the sides of the the feet again, I'm rolling my feet with the movement. And this is all it is. Strong hips, strong shoulder, reach up. Here we go. So again, a little bit of a twist in motion that we often neglect. All right, back to the high plank. So we're back up here. Lock and load, straight line. Make sure your butt's not up in the air and your hips are not sagging down like this. So good position, hands under the shoulder again. Control the breathing. So second round here, we're off. Find your happy place. Need it. Five seconds left, going into the low plank. Two, one, let's take it down. Squeeze that foot cheek. Again, make sure your hips aren't up here. I know it might feel easier for a second, but we're trying to work the core. And if your hips are up there, you're gonna work more of your shoulders. So those hips level, straight line from the shoulder all the way down to your ankles. So five seconds to go. Just a little bit. Two, one, boom. And then we're into this one. So I kind of call this a Spider-Man plank for obvious reasons there. I'm not looking to go a million miles an hour with this one. I definitely feel my core starting to work. We have seven seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, into that slide position. We're here, and let's roll. And exhale as you turn. And make sure this is still engaged, still pulling in. Got about five seconds left. And there you have it. That's just four minutes there, nice and simple. That's something you can do every day or something you can tag on to the end of a workout. Up to you, but very, very simple, very effective. Much better than doing sit-ups, crunches, that sort of stuff, which I pretty much never do. You might see me doing bicycles, split kicks, but never a typical crunch or in particular 
your sits up and it's not good for your back okay so hope you enjoyed that one and i'll see you next time all right bye for now